Welcome back to Red Rusty Barbecue. Tonight we're going to do some tandoori chicken thighs. So for this one, we are going to marinate the night, the food taking this the night before. So first up, I've got some Greek yogurt here. So I'm using about three heaped um, teaspoon or tablespoons full of Greek yogurt. So it really just acts as a binder for the chicken thighs. I've got some spice rub there. Can't really say it, but it's tandoori masala from the Smoky Carter. He's one of my favorite rub producers. So again, I give a good Good strong helping of that, probably maybe about two tablespoons again, uh, about a third of the tube there. And to that I also add in a bit of tandoori uh, mix curry powder as well, um, probably about two, two, two teaspoons, just really wanting this to pack flavour. I've got 12 chicken thighs that I need to get this marinade all round, so I really want to make sure it's kicking a bit of a spice punch. Last ingredient there is just a little dash of red food colouring. I find that tandoori chicken really needs it to bring on the colour for presentation. And since it's only it's not something to cook regularly, I'm not too worried about using red food colouring. I um, would only particularly use it if I was um, making this particular dish. It's not something I would use all the time. So we give that a good mix round and combine. And you should see that red food colour really take effect there. It really changes the changes the um depth of depth of colour for the marinade. So a good whiz round. And then um we're gonna move over and get our chicken thighs. So these very much need um opened out first of all, so you're getting every part of the chicken thigh covered. I usually like to give them a good dunk individually so you make sure you're getting all the flavour and spices mixed in to the chicken as much as possible. And repeat this process until all your chickens are all your chicken thighs are marinated. So all chicken thighs are marinated well and they're gonna go into the fridge overnight. So first things first, I've um, picked out my skewers that are obviously lengthwise, these are the official monolith ones that you can buy as an addition to the monolith um, rotisserie set. You get five skewers, six skewers, five, five or six skewers, but perfect for this. And I've got my marinated chicken thighs ready to be threaded. It's a little bit messy this one, so I've got a little bit of um, kitchen roll. So I've gone inside there and given the hands a bit of a clean, so we're covered in charcoal, so we're ready to start threading these chicken thighs onto the skewer so these have been marinating overnight in the mix we prepared earlier so a little bit of red food colouring in there so I really don't want to be getting this all over myself so basically going through what I'm aiming to do here with the monolith skewers is to go through these chicken thighs about two or three times just at the thickest part so that the skewer gets a good purchase on the meat and there's a little chance of falling off so thread through three times and I want to keep it reasonably flat here so we get a good surface area for the charcoal to cook the chicken nice and evenly. I want a wee bit of char on these so I'll just keep monitoring the cook as it goes along. Ideally while I'm threading these I want to keep one hand pretty clean where I can. So I know about 12 skewer or 12 chicken thighs in total so I'm trying to split those up I reckon about four per skewer will do nicely. So the last thing just to show you is the um, setup of the smart grid. So what I tend to do is I'm going to be doing some potatoes in this towards the end of the cook so I'm going to put the fire ring down to the very lowest and that good, allows me to um, put a cast iron plate underneath the rotisserie and I've also got a small deflector plate in the middle just to keep the main heat coming up onto the bottom of the um, cast iron pan. So as I was saying there we have the half moon deflector just in there and then I'm going to bring across my and just set them on the fire ring and all your want.
So you want to check just that you've got enough um, depth there that anything that's spinning on these rotisseries isn't going to catch on the bottom grill. You should be good enough to use that. I might actually drop it one lower again actually. Um, should give clearance for the cast iron pan. As you can see this is the last one to go on there. Slide in there and there we go. So I'm going to bring the lid down those and of course start up a rotisserie. And I always just check they're all definitely spinning. There's no resistance. And they're all going nicely there. So bring the lid down. So to go alongside these, I have parboiled some um, baby baby potatoes. Um, something I quite enjoy doing, popping in the Kamado, just parboiling for about five, ten minutes. Um, really, really simple way to make a good side dish. So about five, ten minutes parboiled, as I say. And then what I'm going to do is add in some butter, a little bit of turmeric and a little bit of garlic. And then at the end, I'll finish with some coriander. Again, just you can use a rub or whatever you have to hand, just whatever, just to get a wee bit of extra extra flavour in there. So good, generous knob of butter. Just squeeze the garlic. I'm not overly concerned just about mixing them just yet because I know once the butter goes into the tomato it'll all melt down and then I can give it a quick whiz and baste. More about getting the flavours in. Turmeric will give it a, them a nice colour as well. Be generous with that. that should be us. And then those will go in uh, with about 15 minutes ago and that should give us a nice Bit of an opportunity for them to take on a wee bit of the flavour and the colour and the butter. So, always with cooking chicken, I always make sure I go to temp. I just put a probe there. So this is how the finished meal ended up, um, just served with a bit of a side salad, came out really well and was really pleased with the meal overall, hope you've enjoyed and it's given you some ideas.